Okay, very good. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand tall. Everybody warm your hands together. Warm them up, warm them up, warm them up. Show me two claps. Everybody okay, do my best. Good, all right. When I say go, you are gonna do 20 jumping jacks, 20 knee bends, and 10 push-ups. You get to do them in whatever order you want. We have to make sure they are all done fantastic. Ready, go. Come on, go down nice and low, go low, good job. Very nice, get those muscles warmed up. Alec, make sure you're going all the way low, keep your back straight. We got a lot of people on here today, which is awesome. Joseph, bend those knees. Good job, Rudra. Great job, Matthew. Docks arms all the way up when you do jumping jacks. Not like this. Nice, nice, nice. Once you are finished with everything, you're just gonna start jogging in your spot. Just hanging out, jogging. Back away from the chat buttons. Timmy, run in, run in. Oh man, no tackling your brother. It's not nice. Good. Everybody show me five burpees. Five burpees, Vinny, go. Dante, back away from the chat button. Good, when you're finished, you're back to running, back to running, hang it now. Good job. Just keep going. Hey, Mr. Shakur, maybe you can sing us a song now. Below, back away from the chat and start running. Sure, Evan, you're running around your room is good. Mr. Shakur, there's another person. It's a vote for you to sing, sir. And time. Good. Everybody have a seat. Legs out, straight, reach out, grab your toes. I don't think people want me to sing. Do what? I don't, I don't think it's a good idea for me to sing. Me neither. All yeah. right. Touch your toes. <laughs> good job, guys. Hey, guys, everything you do today, I want you to do quickly. I see a lot of kind of like moving slow. It is raining, which means most of us probably didn't play outside. I played in the rain. Did anyone else play in the rain? I don't see any hands up, which means most of you guys are probably inside, which means you have a lot of extra energy. We're gonna get it all out. Everybody feet together, butterfly, go. Hey guys, if we are not Using the chat feature the way that we are supposed to, to ask the questions that we have, I will turn it off, okay? Zephyr playing, stay focused, take your nose down to your toes. If you have an actual question about what we are doing, you are welcome to put it in the chat, but we're not using it to be silly. At the beginning, when we're warming up, that's one thing, but right now, we are focused. Everybody give me a head nod if you understand. Okay, right now, everybody should be stretching, not playing with things. Austin. Good, one leg out straight, reach down, grab your toes. Herschel, look at you working on your flexibility. That is awesome. Right now is a fantastic time to work on your flexibility. When you're in school, in the middle of like class or math, you can't just sit on the floor and start stretching, right? You have to sit at your desk. While you are doing school at home, you know what you can do? Take a little two minute stretch break, or you can even do your math homework while you're stretching. Something you can't do in school right now is the perfect time to spend extra time working on your flexibility. Who has been spending extra time working on their flexibility? I see a lot of hands up, that's awesome. Feet together, butterfly. Stay focused, Joseph, feet together, butterfly, bud. There we go. Take your nose down to your toes. Good, everybody stand up. Timmy, 
I need you to turn your microphone off, bud, and please leave it off. Good. All right. So we are going to run through a red stripe. Red belts and above, you will be doing jump kicks. You will be doing jump kicks the entire time. Okay? And you don't have to ask me each time if you're doing jump kicks, all you're doing is jump kicks. Everybody give me a head nod if you understand. Perfect. Brown and senior Brown, you are doing regular kicks. Everybody run back. Everybody put your right foot back. Yo. Good. Hands are up. Timmy, but you got to turn your microphone off. Good. Okay. We're going to start with front kicks. Hands are up. I want to see you kick your front foot and set it down in the front of you. Everybody show me number one. Good. Number two, you're going to kick your back foot if you are jumping. You are setting it in front if you are not jumping. So brown and senior brown. It's going back behind you. Ready? Go. Number three, slide your feet together. You're going to kick the foot you did not slide. Ready? Go. Go on. Number four, take a small step. Joseph, hands up, bud. Stay focused. Stay with me. Kick your back foot sitting in front. Number five, take a big step. Sorry. Brown and senior brown are the only ones stepping. Red and senior red, you are not stepping. You are doing an elevated jump kick. Ready? Go. Go on, everybody, hustle back. Right foot back and yell. We're gonna do that again a little bit faster, guys. Hands up. I am doing what the brown and senior brown are doing. Red and above, you are doing the jump version. Number one, you are kicking, ready, one. Number two, kick your back foot and set it back behind you. Number three, slide your feet together and kick, go. Number four, take a small step, kick your back foot, ready, go. Number five, red and above, elevated jump kick. Everybody else, big step, big kick, go. Back, hop to back. Not everybody, because some of you guys are doing an amazing job, but a lot of you guys, I can tell, are putting very little effort into your kicks. If you are going to put little to no effort into your kicks, you should not even be doing them. If you are practicing badly, you are gonna pick up bad habits. Does everybody understand? Stay focused and do your best kicks. Okay, Natalie, your kicks look really good. Really good. That is an example I want everyone to follow. Hands up. Good. Front kicks, one through five. One more time. Make sure that your body is facing forward. If your body is turned to the side, you are not set up right to do these kicks. Face forward, hands up. Ready, one. Keep your hands up, Arouche. Number two, back foot, brown and senior brown. Put it back behind you, go. Number three, slide up. Jump kick, go. Number four, small step, jump kick, go. Remember, brown belts, you are not jumping, not jumping. Yes, Dante. Red, senior red, and above. Elevated jump kicks, go. Good. Brown and senior brown, show me. Step and kick, go. Okay. Hey, guys, when you are not actively kicking, meaning if I call one person, when you are waiting, should you be waiting like this? This is what we should look like. Everybody pick your right foot back and yell. Put your hands up. Hands up, focus, move strong. Stay with me, guys. Crescent kicks, moving on to crescent kicks. A crescent kick is a snap kick. It has four parts, just like a front kick. The only difference is instead of kicking straight up and down, we're kicking around. Do you guys understand? You are hitting the target or slapping the target with the side of your foot, the outside. Who is going to kick faster than Evan? Because Evan is putting a lot of effort into his kicks right now. Hands up. Ready, one. Good. Make sure you keep your eyeballs where you are kicking. If you are looking over there or over there, that's where your kick is going to go. Two. Arush, can you kick higher than that? 
Thank you. Slide and kick, go. Josh, that was a great kick. Number four, small stepping kick, go. Alejandro, nice work. Number five, remember, if you're doing jumps and elevated everybody else, stepping kick, go. Joseph, can you kick higher? Nice, out of boy ducks. Nice kick. Everybody run back, quick. The last kick. Are you ready? Bryce is back in yo. Good. Axe kicks. One through five. Ready? One. Annalisa, show me that again. Out of girl two. Austin, hands up. Give me some effort, man. Slide and kick three. Diego, great work. Just make sure you keep your belly facing me, not the side. There you go. Number four, small semi kick, go. Good. Number five, elevated jump kick and or semi kick, go. Shrewsy, make sure you keep your leg straight and chop it down. Everybody run back, quick. Everybody do 10 push-ups, go. All right, I tell you what, everybody come over here. All right, we're gonna have a little race. Are you guys ready? Listen to all of the instructions and wait for me to say go before you do anything else. All right, we are gonna have a little scavenger hunt. You have to find some tools that we're gonna need. Once you find them, you have to run back and stand tall and don't wiggle, okay? This is the race part, are you ready? The first thing I need you to find is a small square pillow. Wait, I did not say go. Come back, listen to all of the instructions. Good. A small square pillow. If you do not have one, just find the smallest one you can. You don't want it to be too heavy. That'll make it easier. If you have a small rectangular pillow that's flat, that might work, okay? Run, grab it, and come back. Go! Once you have it, you should be standing tall, not wiggling. If you are practicing with a sibling, you will each need one. You will each need one. Oh, that was so nice. Give it to your brother. I like it. All right, good. Put it down next to you. All right, are you ready for the next thing you will need? Do not go without listening to all of the instructions. Are you ready? You will need a plastic cup. Listen, it cannot be anything other than plastic. You are going to use it to balance on top of your head. If it falls off, I do not want it to break or fall on your toes. Do you understand? So it can be any kind of, it can be like a, a red plastic cup. It could be styrofoam also. Or it can be like a reusable plastic cup, but absolutely no glass. If you don't have one, then you're just going to skip this part. We, you cannot use anything breakable or hard. Do you understand? Go! Josh, you already have what you need? It doesn't have anything in it, does it? All right, go ahead and put it down. We're not using it yet. George, ask mom for help. All right, good. Put them down next to you. Put them down. The last thing you will need is a small stuffed animal. A small stuffed animal. The smaller, the better. Go. Natalie, that is really small. All right, perfect. Excellent. Is everybody back? I like that. That won't work, but because it won't stay on your head. It's really cute, though. All right, if it'll stay on your head, we can we can work with it. 
All right, good. So the first thing that you will need is your pillow. So put everything else down to the side. Here's what we're working on. We are working on control of our body positioning. What I see so much of, one second, let me grab my pillow. What I see so much of is you guys throwing your bodies around. You're like, so here's what we're gonna do. Red belts and above, you are no longer jumping. Everybody is doing basic kicks, working on our body positioning. You will take your pillow, it'll be the easiest. You will balance it on top of your head. We are gonna do front kicks one through five. You're gonna put your hands up. You have to keep your body positioning straight and still and not drop the pillow. If you drop the pillow, you owe me two knee bends and then you're back in. Do you understand? Back up, put the pillows on your head, right foot back in yo. Hands up. Ready? Below, it has to, oh man, you already dropped it. Everybody show me one. Good, keep your body still. Remember, you should not be sideways, you should be facing me. Number two, you're gonna kick your back foot. Listen, I don't want you to kick high, I just want you to balance. This is not a very big pillow. Everybody show me two. Number three, slide your feet together and kick, go. Oh man, two, good, all right. Make sure you put it back. <clears throat> okay, take a small step. Kick your back foot set in in front. Oh man. <clears throat> Number five, a full step and kick. Make sure you set that foot down in front of you. If your pillow keeps falling off, you're out, knee bends. Good, everybody run back to their spot. We're gonna do the pillow one more time. Almost everyone did a really good job. Keep your body still. Hands up, right foot back. Ready? One. Oh man. Pick the pillow up, do your knee bends quickly. Don't just stand there. Ready, two. Oh man. Gotta work on your body positioning. Number three, slide and kick, go. Oh man. Number four, small step and kick, go. Austin, you don't look focused to me. Where's your pillow? Number five, full step and kick, go. Diego, you can't put it on your head and then kick. You gotta leave it on your head. Good, everybody go back. All right, who's ready for round two? Rania, just so you know, doing it with the paddle target is really challenging. I just don't have a pillow. The pillow was step one, it was easy. Grab your stuffed animal. Depending on what kind of stuffed animal you have, this is either gonna be easier or harder. All right, Dante, good luck. Okay, Bilal, good luck. Okay, Emily, good luck. Put your stuffed animal on your head. Eddie, that looks <laughs> pretty natural on you. Maybe you should walk around like that always. <sighs> All right, we're doing crescent kicks. Are you guys ready? Hands up. Number one, ready, go. Yeah, there you go, Benny and Rachel, good. Rania and Chris, good. Number two, back foot, go. Oh man, Josh, is that a guinea pig? That's not a stuffed animal, it's a stuffed person. All right, it'll work. Sliding kick three. Oh, you can't just put it there and then kick. It's got to stay on your head as you do the steps. Number four, small step and kick, go. Ronya, is that Garfield? I just see an orange cat. Looks like an orange cat. All right, big step. Kick, go. Evan, that was so good until you looked down. 
Keep your eyes focused forward. If you guys are looking over there, over there, guess what your head is doing? This. You don't want to do that. We're not whipping our hair back and forth. All right, put your right foot back. Hands up. Last time with these. Oh no, Alec, your animal. Your real animal is eating your stuffed animal. Hands up. Everybody show me one. Hands up, ready, two. Slide and kick, three. Small step and kick, four. And a big step and kick, five. I, I said kick belt level, not kick toe level. Anybody can do this. Daniel. Oh, good, everybody run back. Who's ready to get really tricky? Everybody grab your cup. If you were unable to find the cup that you needed, use the stuffed animal or the pillow again. Come on, you know where it goes. I don't have a cup, so I'm gonna try to use this box of cookies. I don't know how it's gonna work. It's kind of a skinny box, so. Oh, you know what? Use this box. Might be a little bit better. Actually, I think it's the exact same. All right. Uh, that's not gonna work. Put your hands up. Everybody show me this time with your ax kicks. Ready, one. Don't drop the cup. Ready, two. <laughs> you can do it. Number three, ready, slide and kick, go. Oh man, Alec, that's making it challenging, isn't it? Your puppy's chasing you. Number four, small step and kick, go. If you're kicking at your toe level, then you're not doing it right. Number five, big step and kick, go. Shreya, very good. All right, everybody run back. Okay, everybody pick whatever they thought was the easiest. If it was your pillow, your cup, or your stuffed animal, it could be different for everybody. Put that on your head. All right, now I'm gonna call out random kicks. I will either call front, uh, crescent, or axe kicks. I will call any number, and that is what you have to do. Are you ready? Everybody put their right foot back and yell. Remember, if you drop it, you're out to knee bends. Ready? So we'll hold it with your hands. Hands up. Ready? Number two, front kick. Keep that pillow there. Keep your body straight. Don't duck your heads or swing around. All right, number three, crescent kick. Number five, X kick. Number one, X kick. Very good, Johannes. Number two, crescent kick. Oh, Shruti, I was just about to say how awesome you were doing. Number three, crescent kick. Great work, Sam. Number four, front kick. Number four, crescent kick. Good, Matthew. All right, are you guys ready for a challenge? Is that a hat, Cordae? If it's a hat, it doesn't count. It looks like a hat. Oh man, that's kind of cheating, but okay. Elevated jump front kick. Oh, don't let it fall. Oh man. Elevated jump front kick, try it, keep going. Do 10 in a row, see if you can get it to stay on for as many as you can. Oh man. 
could I? That doesn't count, man. It's like a headband. I'm, I want to know what's an elevated jump kick. An elevated jump kick? That is a great question. So that's when you lift your back knee just like this. You're going to jump and kick the other foot. Does that make sense? Okay. I didn't hear, I didn't hear what you said. Okay, I'll show you again. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to lift our back foot just like this. And from there, you're going to jump and kick your other foot. So your hands are up. So you jump and kick. Yes. All yes. right, very good. Good job. Hey, everybody, go ahead and take your, your stuff and put it down to the side. All right, make sure that everything gets put away neatly. Do not leave the cups or the stuffed animals or the pillows on the floor where they don't go. Everybody put your hands up so I know that you understand what I'm saying. All right, good. Everybody come over here. Hey, you guys did a really, really good job with that. I know it was challenging. It was supposed to be challenging. Um, what we were really focusing on is making sure that we're being conscious or paying attention to what our upper body is doing. A lot of times we'll kind of do this really dramatic like fling thing or like we'll throw our body around. When we do that, our, our uh, technique isn't correct and our body positioning isn't correct, which makes our kick incorrect as well. Um, so you really want to be aware or know what your upper body is doing. I know it makes you feel really, really like stiff when it's on your head. Mom, good job. Cassie, that was great. All right. Um, so keep up practicing with that. Another great way to practice is if you have a full length mirror or even have you mom or dad videotape you and then watch what your body is doing. Sometimes we don't know what our body looks like until we see it. So everybody can practice that way as well. Um, real quick, does anybody have any questions? If you do, you know the drill. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Say your name and then what your question is. If not, we will play one more game before we go today. Going once. Rachel and Benny. Yes, ma'am. Um, would it be easier with the stuffed animals to use like a smaller thing on your head or would it be harder to... Wait, would it be easier or harder to do like a smaller one or a bigger one? To be honest, Miss Rachel, it totally depends on what shape the animal is. Okay. Um, if it's like got like legs and stuff that are almost gonna hug your head, it's gonna mm -hmm. be way easier. Mm -hmm. If it's really small but round and it's not flat, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot harder. Does that make okay. sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Four, three, two. Miss McKenzie. Yes. It's Benny. Um, how long a day should we practice if we want to get really good at it? Uh, should you practice this or should you practice your martial arts in general? Um, this. This. Well, this is just kind of a uh, an awareness exercise. Um, because what that means is it's just to understand how your body needs to be positioned. Um, so it's not that you have to get like super good at balancing something on your head, um, but to practice and make sure that your body positioning and posture is correct, it really depends on how much you drop the animal. Um, if you, if you had fun practicing this way, then you could do it for a couple of minutes every couple of days and that'll, that'll be good, good practice for you. Okay. Thank you. Like if you're going to do your kicks three times, maybe do it with the pillow or the stuffed animal one time. And then after that, you, you do it the regular way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yes, okay, very good. The Any other questions? Mrs. McKenzie? Uh, yes. My name is Nox. Um, do you have to use the things to balance I'm sorry? <clears throat> have to use the pillow for and up and stuff and stuff. No, you don't, you don't have to use them to balance. It's just a fun way to practice keeping your body straight. Like I said, another way to practice would be to use a mirror and make sure you're standing up straight and not wiggling or to have mom or dad help you videotape yourself so that you can watch and make sure that your body is staying in the correct position. Yes, Great question. 
Any other questions? Are you are you waving or are you raising your hand? If you're if you have a question, just unmute your microphone. Okay, good. You guys want to play a game real quick? Let's play Simon Says. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand tall. Everybody put your hands in the sky. You guys aren't very good at Simon Says. I didn't say Simon Says. You guys all just put your hands up. <laughs> Simon Says stand tall. Simon says hands on your shoulders. Simon says clap twice. Clap three times. Simon says spread your feet apart. Simon says hands on your hips. Simon says two knee bends. Ready, go. Whoa, what are you doing? Simon says two jumping jacks. Ready, go. Simon says, spin in a circle. Simon says, put your hands down. Simon says, put your hands up. Simon says, put your hands down. Simon says, put your hands up. Simon says, put them down. Simon says, put them down. David, this is not down. You can't trick me. Simon says, clap twice. Clap three times. Simon says clap four times. Simon says warm your hands together. Simon says two claps. Balance says do my best. Do my best. Come on guys, I didn't say Simon says. All right, hey guys, I have a challenge for you today. My challenge, well it's actually for you to do all week. My challenge is for you to be an amazing helper. If you see mom or dad cooking, cleaning, setting the table, washing the dishes, anything. I want you to go and offer to help them. Everybody say to help them. Has anyone seen the movie Flushed Away? It's a cartoon movie. Anybody seen it? If you guys haven't seen Flushed Away, you should check out Flushed Away. Um, it is a funny movie. There's this song in the movie. Never mind. Anyways, you guys should see it if you haven't. It's really funny. All right. Everybody have an amazing day. Be really good helpers for mom and dad. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.